Coming up today, learn how to do the star stitch. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today you're going to be learning how to do the star stitch. This is actually star stitching here. Every star that you see is actually consisting of two rows and I've changed my colors. But look at the back of this baby. Isn't that really cool? Do you love how the st uh, stitches peek through? Really neat. So I've used Bernat Handicrafter cotton with this. You can use uh, Lily Sugar and cream as well to make really cool dishcloths. Today for the star stitch all you just need to do is match the hook to the yarn. So in this case it's asking for a five millimeter crochet hook. So I would use a five millimeter for this. So what I'm doing here is that I'm using an extra thick yarn. I'm using Bernat uh, Baby Blanket yarn for this as well as a size 10 millimeter size and crochet hook in order to show you where the stitches go. So when we're going to create the first part let's just do our slip knot and remember that the one that we create the slip knot never counts as one. To keep this pattern in balance it doesn't matter how big that you want to make this thing. It could be an afghan, it could be um, a dishcloth, it could be whatever. You have to keep it in groups of two. Remember that this does not count as one. So we're going to go one and two and keep doing that. One and two and keep doing that. And one and two and get to the size that you want. So one and two and one and two and one and two and get to the size that you want. Once you get to the size that you want you can just uh, sit down and you just need to add one just like so. So you go one, two, one, two, one, two and then add one at the end. So let's work back on this chain and what we're going to do is second from the hook we count one and two and just simply insert your hook into the second one and just pull the yarn through and hold it on your hook. So don't let it go anywhere. You're gonna come to the next chain, insert, pull through and hold. Insert the next two, uh, chain. Okay? And keep doing that until you end up having six loops on your hook. So you have five and six. Now because this is extra big yarn I didn't do an extra long chain so it's gonna look like it's a lot shorter than what it could be in your example. Once you have six on here you're simply just gonna grab the yarn and pull through all six. And that's how you would start. So basically you just created one of the stars. So to finish off the star you have to chain one. So you're just gonna pull through like that. And this is gonna leave an eye or the center of your star. This is where it gets really tricky and this is where it's hard to describe it in a book. So what we're going to do is that we have the eye, we have the post. Okay this is the last post. If you have all the posts that are coming around the circle you have the stitch and then you have two more stitches. So what we're going to do is that we're gonna start off with the eye. So just immediately stick your hook into the same eye of the center point and pull the yarn through. Now you're gonna go between the post Okay, you have all these posts. You have, remember, you have five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Come in between the last two. Okay, so just go right in there. Just go right in between. Grab the yarn and pull through. So now you're gonna go to where the stitch is. So this is the last stitch that went in as part of your six. You're gonna go into the same one and pull through. We're gonna review this again if you're lost. So now you have four. So now it takes four of these loops before you start extending back into the chain. So we're gonna just go for two more chains only. So just insert to the next chain available, pull through and hold, and the next chain, pull through and hold. And you have a total of six. So now that you have your six, that's the magic number. We're just gonna pull through all six and create the next eye of the, of the center point by just chaining one. Okay, so there is it again. So let's review this again. So to start we go into the eye. Eye, pull through. You're gonna come into the post. It's in between the two posts of the final two. Okay, so if you pull things apart you can see where things go. Right there. So you're just gonna go in between the two posts. Pull through. You're now going to go in the same stitch where that post is coming out of in the chain and then you're going to pick up the next two chains that are available. See how you're only growing by two chains every time? That's why it's only in groups of two when you start. So now that you have your six pulled through everything I'm gonna review this again. This is the harder step of the two. So if you've got this you've got it, you've got the stitch down pat. So let's create the eye. So we're gonna chain one first 
and now let's do another star. So we insert into the eye, pull through into the last post, in between the last post I should say and pull through. We're going to go to where that post is into the actual chain. Okay, so there's your four. So remember what I said, you have your four before you start going into your chain like your four loops going into the next two chains. Pull through and pull through like so. So now what you're just gonna do is that you're just gonna simply just pull through all six like so and then you're going to just make your eye. So you're gonna do your final that you're going to, to make for the rest of this uh, tutorial here like for the rest of the row. So we're just gonna insert to the eye in between the post into the same stitch of where that post is coming out of. So now we're ready to extend just like so. So go into the chain for one and two getting touch and go because you're on the end. Okay, you have your, no you don't have it. I missed that last one so let's try it again. Practice makes perfect, right? So we're gonna pull through that last one. So now we have our six and then we pull through all six. So and then we make the eye and then we just single crochet into the very now into the last one that you went into when you form the um, when you form the star. So go into the last stitch that you were just at. So that's a half double crochet just like so. So that is your first line of two. Now you're going to notice that you have a gapping space here. That is part of the characteristic. So if you think you're screwing up it's not. It's actually part of the characteristic. So one side you'll have a solid side. The other side you'll have where you did your half double crochet. So and I tried different elements in order to get rid of that and I followed uh, pattern books and it's the same and everything. So let's turn our work and begin the next row. This is the easy one of the two. To begin this row it's really simple. This row is the simplest of the two. So we're gonna chain up one first and we're going to single crochet exactly where that stitch was. Okay, so the very first stitch you're gonna single crochet. Now the first eye is of there where everything is circling around is right here and you can see that you can see it's just all popping out. So what we're going to do is that we're going to only in the first one for one single crochet by itself. And now every one of the eyes that are left of every one of the half circles you're just gonna put in two double crochets into each. You're not spacing anything in between. It's just a simply just a double crochet or sorry a single crochet in each. So that was one eye. You can just clearly see it here. There's another one. It's kind of just opening up for you like a flower. Okay and then you come into the next one. So just two single crochets into each and this completes off the star. Okay, so we go right to the end. This is the final eye and once you get to the end you just set the top there. You just wanna do one single crochet and we wanna change our work. We wanna start up a new row but I'm gonna show you how to start a new row when it's actually already established. So I showed you how to begin when it was a chain. Now this is how you're gonna do it when you're in a position like this. So let's turn our work. See how you can see the eyes are actually happening. So this is a really inflated version of it just like you see. So you can see when it's a smaller version it looks more convincing that it is a star stitch. So let's begin again. So this time what we're going to do is that we're going to chain two. So one and two. But here's the thing. Every time you do a chain there's always three, there's always three um, strings. One, two and three. And uh, there's always three that make up. So what I want you to do is on the second down come into one string only, grab the yarn, pull through. On the same level, okay, just in a different area, grab this another stitch. So just insert into another one of those strings in the same stitch and pull through. Now you're going to come right to the base and this is where this is all originating. So now you have your four. So remember what I said is that whenever we were on the chain is that we got our four and then we advanced two. So now we're just gonna immediately come into the next two stitches. So we just pick them up and coming into the next one and pick it up. You have your six. So pull through like this and then make the eye. So just pull through. So you remember how to do the eye. So we're gonna or do the next area. So we're gonna do the eye first. 
pull through. We're gonna go in between the two last posts, pull through. We're gonna go into where the stitch is of the last star that you made and then you're going to pick up the next two uh, stitches that are just in the row. Once you have your six, pull through. Okay, chain one to make the eye. So let's begin again. So we're gonna go to the eye, to the post, in between the posts, to the actual stitch, so where that last star was, and then the next two stitches that are empty waiting for something. Okay, you have your six, pull through everything. I'm gonna review this one more time. So we're just gonna chain one first to make the eye. So we're gonna go to the eye, to the post, to the, where the other stitch is, and then to the next two that are empty waiting for something. Okay, pull through all six. I might as well finish this row while I'm at it. I got you here. So make the eye, so chain one to make the eye. So the, the eye, the post, okay, to the where the chain or the other star is, and then the next two. So one and two. So now you have your six, pull through. Okay, chain one to make the eye and then half double crochet into the beginning that we, that we had over here. You can get a little bit tight and dicey in these stitches. <laughs> oh. And then just go into the end for one half double crochet like so. So now you're ready to turn your work. You know how to do what you do next. So to begin again, you are just going to chain one, single crochet into the same stitch. You come into the eye, okay, you can see it's there. So you're gonna come into the eye for one because the one's gonna be by itself and then every eye that you run into as you're working along will have two single crochets into each. Like so. Okay, and you just keep doing that and you can change color at any time and this is the starch stitch and thank you so much on behalf of Your Inspirations as well as the crochetcrowd.com uh, for joining me today and for more free patterns and ideas please join us on our websites and if you do this project we'd love to see what it looks like on YouTube. So let me turn it around and this is what you have and this is the starch stitch.